Hi, I'm Grant uh, from CNC, and today I'm going to be discussing a manual twin counter shaft transmission. So a standard transmission with a clutch, input shaft, um, and and giving you a quick idea how it runs and how it works. This is a a constant mesh transmission, so that is the key to this thing to keep it from grinding gears like they used to talk about. But uh, so with the picture I have up here, I'm going to be showing you how this layout is run, um, and then I'm going to show you a cutaway of a real transmission that, that is basically almost the same layout as you're seeing on the screen right now. So uh, if you look up at the screen, we have an input shaft that comes in here. Uh, on the end of that input shaft, that, that knob right on the end of it is basically going to run right into the flywheel from the engine. We're getting receiving our flywheel power from our engine and it's going to go through a clutch that is found in the clutch housing, okay, right in this area. We're going to come through there, our input shaft, which is this, right, um, plugs into the uh, pilot bearing on the flywheel and we have, uh, we can have a, uh, a clutch brake that actually rides along this and stops here. This is going to connect in here and the um, main shaft that we have goes right here. That main shaft will plug right into here, but they don't turn together. They're completely separate, but they do notch together inside the transmission, okay? So once we come into our transmission, we have constantly meshed to our counter shafts here and here. The counter shafts are going to be always turning as long as that clutch, clutch is engaged, okay? The clutch is engaged. We are now uh, full power coming into this transmission, turning all of these. These are constantly meshed with the gears that are on the um, main shaft. So, um, and, and they are on the main shaft, but they're not um, splined to the main shaft. So what that half is, is a gear like this, okay, that sits on the main shaft, okay? But that main shaft is not turning that gear. It, it just sits there and floats. And the reason it doesn't wear out and rub on that main shaft, um, which is also called the output shaft, um, is the fact that it floats between these two counter shafts. Um, uh, gears. It's constantly meshed to both of them and that holds it in suspension so that it actually never actually touches the main shaft. Okay, so um, when we want to actually lock a gear into place with our shifter, we've got a shifter on top and it's got forks that come into here into a sliding clutch. The sliding clutch is meshed to the main shaft and when we slide the clutch on that main shaft with the fork right we actually will slide it into mesh with that and then that locks it to the main shaft okay so that's the only time we actually go into gear is when the sliding clutch meshes with the main shaft gear okay it's called a main shaft gear but it never really actually touches it okay so we never want all of these gears to be meshing at the same time these gears should be meshing um, with this right and then that locks that gear in until we're ready to shift and make another gear each one of these are going to be a different size which will allow us to have different ratios at the output of the transmission okay so the way it runs is, if I was to turn this thing over with the engine, be running it and could look inside the transmission, all of these um, main shafts, or sorry, counter shafts would be turning and they would be turning all the main shaft gears, even in neutral, as long as the clutch is engaged. So we're, we're running power into here. These are not touching each other. This is the output. It is not moving, okay? But if I was to look in there with a flashlight, all these would be turning, but not engaged to the output. Okay, when I want one to be engaged to the output, I've drawn like a, it's kind of an odd, terrible picture of a, of a sliding clutch. It would lock that um, gear 
to the main shaft and start driving out the back, okay? There's an auxiliary section on this thing, and that's in the back, and we'll show that in a minute too, okay? So I'm gonna have this in gear. All of a sudden, I've got a main shaft, or a, an, an input gear right here, the main input gear, which this input shaft is meshed to. It will be, uh, I could count the teeth on it, but it's gonna go down and mesh with, and it's already meshed with this counter shaft gear. So is it meshed with this counter shaft gear? So all those are turning together. These are all, um, it's all, not all one piece, but they're all pressed together. They turn as a unit, each of these counter shafts. If you have a single counter shaft transmission, you're only gonna have one of these usually below it, okay? So we're gonna go and, and, and our power is gonna come in here and we're gonna be turning a certain size of gear and a certain number of teeth and it's gonna mesh with this one, which has a certain number of teeth. If we can figure out the ratio, this is the drive gear, this is the driven gear. We can put driven over drive and figure out what that ratio is. Once we, it's gonna, the power flow is gonna travel down that because we've locked this particular gear. I'm not sure what gear it is, but whatever. And it's already meshed there, but we locked it to this output shaft. We are now running this as our drive gear because we've come in drive to driven, that comes out here. We now are driving, this is our drive gear, driving this driven gear. So we can put this gear divided by that gear to get the ratio on that set, okay? So we've got four gears, driven, uh, sorry, drive, driven, drive, driven, and that would give us our output here. We could be making, if, if it was five to one, we could be coming in here with 500 RPMs and we'd have 100 out here, okay? So that's how that's done. And then we'd make a shift and because the gear teeth are different, we'd be making different ratios. Every one would be um, a, a different ratio. So each shift we make is gonna change the output speed and we can go faster, slower, uh, adjust for our RPMs, everything like that.